Okay. People, the point of this video is this, okay? Let me make this perfectly clear right here and now. I want to know the answer to one question and one question only. And I'm sure, and I'm sure you guys are probably going to have all kinds of answers and all are accepted. Okay? Here's the question. Okay? You know how the WWE every November has that pay-per-view which the name doesn't really fit anymore and it's called Survivor Series and nowadays it's like they don't do that mat that mat that kind of match anymore. So here's my question. What does Survivor Series have to do with war games? No, seriously, I'm asking. I'm just simply asking. Cause again, Survivor Series. A team of four or five going against another team of four or five. And they strive to survive. What does that have to do with putting two teams of four inside the war games cage? Nothing. It has nothing to do with it. So here's my recommendation to WWE. And this is a good recommendation. I, recommend, I would recommend you do one of the following. One, either stop doing this War Games nonsense at Survivor Series, and I should go back to doing Survivor Series. Two, change the name of the event to WWE Fall Brawl. I said Fall Brawl, not whatever, not whatever you guys think I may have said. Three, either go back to doing Survivor Series matches. Or don't do the event at all. It's that simple. It's that freaking simple. And people, yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm perfectly aware. That change sometimes does need to happen. But when the change does not fit. the When the change is not needed. You don't do it. It is pointless. Now, this whole thing about the Royal Rumble going to February, not needed. WrestleMania being two nights, not needed. No. WrestleMania is a one night event that what sh what is rest what is night one of WrestleMania should be the Hall of Fame banquet. I mean, the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame ceremony, sorry. What's night two should be WrestleMania. And they're also thinking about making SummerSlam a two-night event. So, basically, they're thinking about making SummerSlam a two-night event where they can put on pretty much whatever they want. That's what they did with WrestleMania. Yeah. They pretty much put on whatever kind of whatever matches they want and they think that's okay. No it isn't. No it is not, my friends. It is not. <sighs> this is ridiculous, people. People, this is this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I'm just, I had to say it. I have to say it, people. Royal Rumbles in Jan Royal Rumbles in January. WrestleMania is a one night event. SummerSlam doesn't need to be two nights. And Survivor Series has nothing to do with war games. Oh, and remember that whole thing about the title situation? Again, I can solve it right now. I can solve that problem right now if only WWE would actually listen. Now, pay attention. Okay. Take the two WWE titles, the Universal and the, and the 
world heavyweight title, throw them in the garbage, and go get the WWE, and go and go get the go get either the Winged Eagle or the or the Big Gold Belt. Call that the WWE title. There, problem solved. That problem solved. Intercontinental title, easy. Go get the one that was held by guys like Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect, Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, Diesel, Macho Man Randy Savage, Ravishing Rick Rude, Ultimate Warrior. You know that one, the one that the one that actually came out in the early night in the in the late eighties, early nineties. Go get that one and call that the Intercontinental Title. Again, simple, right? There, that problem is solved. Tag team titles. This one is so easy. I cannot believe WWE hasn't done this yet, and I don't know what the heck they're waiting for. Take the Raw. And SmackDown tag team titles, hang them above the ring at like WrestleMania, and the winner and whichever team wins gets gets their tag team titles as the one and only set of tag team titles you need. Because you don't need two sets, people. You don't need that anymore. And that Solves that problem. Now. Um, let's see. Women's tag team titles. Do away with that crap. The women's title. Easy. Go get the WWF women's title. Make that the women's title. See? See, people? I just solved, I just solved their problems. And you know what? They already have those titles, so you don't even need to do anything with them. You don't even need to spend any money. Problem already solved. You know? <sighs> People, I'm just saying. I'm just simply saying. You can solve a problem in, in one step. You don't need to take two steps when one will do just fine. Like having two sets of tag team titles is pointless. One for Raw, one for SmackDown. Don't need it. Same thing with the women's title. You don't need one for Raw and you don't need one for SmackDown. You need one women's title. And this women's Raw Rumble nonsense, you need to do away with that too. Seriously, you do. I'm not kidding. Because that match adds nothing to the pay-per-view. I'm not kidding anymore, people. I'm not kidding about this. That match adds nothing to the pay-per-view. Now, again, if you want to have a women's title match, go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. Those are ha those have happened before at the Royal Rumble. That's not the problem here. The problem is adding a match to the to the pay per view that adds nothing to it. So again, people, again, let's go. Okay, okay, people, let's go over this again just to make sure you all understand what I was saying earlier. Get rid of the WWE and the and the World Heavyweight title as is. Just be done with them. Just completely get rid of them. Abandon them. Forget they ever existed whatsoever. Go get the WWF title that, that was that was around for, that was around from 1988 to 1998 and the or the one that was there from 98 to 2002. Then you actually have a title that has some, you know, meaning and a title that actually, you know, means something and actually stands for something and actually has some prestige and actually looks unique and doesn't look literally boring as 
doesn't look really dull as dishwater. Yeah, you heard me right, people. The titles nowadays are dull as dishwater. Mm hmm. Again, people, why do we need all these titles in the WWE? We don't need them, they're not needed. Again, the WWF title that was around from 98 from 1988 to 1998 or 98 to 2002 that one of those should be the WWE should be the WWE title not this dull not this dull as dishwater garbage they have now and why have they not realized and why have they not brought brought back any titles that actually you know mean something like say the European title or you know titles like that hmm I'm just asking that's all again people again these this title situation can be solved in one swoop in one swoop people it is not hard to do, and it's not difficult at all. No, it is not, my friends. No, it is not. Now, you're probably asking why. Simple. That way the titles they have, because the titles they have now are ugly, pointless, stupid, they make no goddamn sense, and what and what the heck is so unique about them? They're all boring, pointless, stupid, illogical. They make no goddamn sense. And why were they even needed to begin with? No, really, I'm asking. I am, I'm like legitimately asking here. What is the point of having all these titles in the, in the company if most of them if not all of them are completely unneeded. I cannot understand for the life for the life of me why you need all these titles when most of them don't even mean anything. Most of them mean this. Nothing. They mean absolutely nothing. All I'm saying, people, is this. People, I'm telling you right now, if the WWE was as intelligent as they think they are, they would, uh, they would just abandon this nonsense right now. They would abandon this two-night WrestleMania garbage. They would not move the Royal Rumble to February. And they damn sure would make SummerSlam a two-night event. No, they wouldn't do that. Oh, and they would also abandon this War Games nonsense at not Survivor Series. That's what they might as well call it now. They might as well call it not Survivor Series because it's not Survivor Series. And yes, I am fully aware of what I'm saying here, people. I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware that what I'm saying probably upsets some of you guys. But it has to be said, people. It's got to be said. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. It has to be said, people. You gotta do, you gotta do the right thing, WWE. You gotta do the right thing. You have to. Again, get rid of this two night WrestleMania garbage. Fix your title situation. Stop thinking that a certain somebody is a legend when he's clearly not. And I think we all know who I'm talking about here. Someone who made his, his WWE debut in 2002. 
as someone who is a who is a legend only in his mind and someone who people think actually should be in the hall of fame no he shouldn't because again people again if WWE would fix all these problems and get rid of this PG era garbage they would pretty much they they might actually be making more money oh and make raw go back to two hours because honest to god this three hour garbage isn't working anymore no it's not again fix the title situation wrestlemania one night only SummerSlam stays one night Survivor Series is not has nothing to do with War Games people. Royal Roman in January and WrestleMania should not be a two night event. No, it shouldn't. All right, that's all I gotta say about that.